Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 10th of August 2024. I hope you are keeping well. It's pretty early in the morning. I see the sun is actually out this morning here in Bangkok. It's been pretty overcast for quite a few days. So maybe the sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. Um, I didn't get a good uninterrupted sleep because the cat is... Uh, showing signs of distress he has an appointment this morning at the hospital for 11 30. i can't really go before then so uh, he's just got to wait a little bit uh, but he's in a bit of pain so um it woke me up and uh i couldn't go back to sleep very for <laughs> for quite a long time i did get back to sleep eventually but anyway that's me what's more important what's going on in the world in particular in the uk um those fascists who rioted uh, and maybe are still writing, I'm not sure if, uh, how many are still going on, but uh, they need to understand just how out of touch they are with the real majority of British people. And one thing that might bring it home to them is, you know, these people are, they claim a kind of white tradition, you know, and what could be more symbolic of that than, say, the monarchy? Um, but if they want to know how out of touch they are, well, King Charles has apparently uh, been updated about the situation and said to have shared how he gr he had been greatly encouraged by the many examples of community spirit that had countered the aggression and criminality from a few with the compassion and resilience of the many. What he's saying is King Charles supports the anti-fascists who came peacefully onto the street in huge numbers to keep the fascists away. And that's what he was saying. <laughs> Um, to translate into rather plain English, as opposed to the King's English. Um, yeah, uh, so that's how, uh, you know, out of touch they are. These people, they, the, the kind of traditions that they would presumably argue for uh, are nonsense anyway. Um, let's see, also on the same story, same topic, um, more than se 741 arrests have been made. And um, three, where did I see the number now? 302 people have been charged so far. But of course, as in the idiots that tried to storm the US Capitol on January the 6th, uh, um, they were filming themselves. That's the modern, <laughs> modern disease of the brain. Maybe they all have RFK's brain worms, but you know, they actually like to film themselves and other people film them uh, committing acts of violence that they can later be charged for. So that's good news, isn't it? Well done, the smartphone camera. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku. It's Saturday. This is the Guardian's expert level puzzle uh, of the week. We have just one per week. I'm going to start with threes like this. And we can get another one because three going across there. We can see three blocking up here. So three in one of these two squares blocking across. And then we go up, up, and away in that square. My beautiful balloon there. And we can finish the threes. I can see it immediately. We've got threes down here. And that means there should only be one more up here. Shouldn't there. <coughs> that, that's got to be, yes, that is the last one. <coughs> We have one across here and there and down. And immediately I can see a one and two pair in this column. So blocking down here, down here. So it means we have one and two in those squares. The eight, actually I could have got the eight without. Look, we have eights blocking down here anyway. But anyway, this is one and two. So this has to be six and nine. So we've got the six across there, there's the six, there's the nine. <coughs> so nine blocking this square, this square, and this square. In that row, there's our nine. Okay, and up here, look, we've got one, two, eight blocking across here. One, two, eight blocking across here. Normally, I 
find it difficult to see three numbers, but I found them. Uh, so 1, 2, and 8 are most definitely in those squares there. So we got 1s there. The 2 and the 8 I'm not sure about, but anyway, that's 1, 2, and 8. So what else do we know? Um, so these are not 1, 2, or 8. Uh, 6 blocks that square there, so we've got a pair of 6s there. So 1, 2, 6, and 8 are accounted for. What else do we need? 4, 5. 5s will be in those squares. What do we know about fives anymore? Sevens are there. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll try to remember. Please remind me later when I start to make a fool of myself and forget that I've got one, two, and eight there. Try to bring it back to my mind with your thought control. We've got four blocking across here and up there. Let's put four there. We've got two and four in this row and this row, so we've got two and four in those squares. Uh, now what? Eights in those squares. So we've got quite a few restrictions. So when, if we have to turn to pencil marks later, uh, it shouldn't be too bad I, I'm guessing although we never that's not necessarily reliable uh, way of thinking about it but anyway oh hang on a s oh no Why have I slowed down? Had a little bit of a, fl uh, a little bit of a flurry at the beginning, and then I've slowed down. It's not so good. Although it's not that I'm playing the game for speed or anything. Just uh, don't want the game to flow because I'm making videos. I don't want the game to come to a complete standstill. It makes it boring for the viewer. All right, let's wander along and see. We know, as I said, we know quite a lot of things already.
So we got one and four over here. What else? Uh, oh no, two, This could be one of those frustrating games where I can see so many things and can't quite work out where I'm supposed to go with them. So we know sevens are like this, sevens are down here, sevens are over there. Ah, got gotcha, I got a seven here. Okay, how does this work? All right, we've got seven blocking up here, right? So we've got seven either in this square or this square. Do you agree? Now earlier on I worked out that this was two and four only. So no sevens allowed in there. So seven blocking across here means sevens are here or here. So I'll just recap. Sevens are here, here, and there. So over here, we've got seven blocking down. So sevens must be in one of those two squares, right? Now back up here, we had one, two, and eight in the top three. I did remember it, unusually for me. So seven can't be there. You agree? Now we've got seven blocking here, seven blocking there. 7 blocking there, and this is 1, 2, 8, so 7 has to be in that square. I know it's a lot of hard work, but I did get there in the end. Now, our 6 blocking up here, and we've got 1, 2, and 8 there, that means that has to be a 6. This is 1, 2, and 8, so this is 4 and 5, uh, which means that's 4 or 5, which seems to make sense. Uh, to four. Okay, now four has to be in one of these squares actually because now we've got four here, so four blocking down there. Four is either here or here, blocking up there and across here and across there. That has to be our four. Two blocks this square, so we know now that's a two up there. And the last digit down here, I have no idea. Uh, it's uh, and eight. Uh, now, of course, we've got our twos across because I did work out we had two and four in those squares earlier on, so the two is there. Now, two blocking this square, this square, and this square there, so there's our two. We're looking for a snook the highest snooker break, one four seven along the bottom there. We have a one and a seven. That's about it. Uh but I've got a pair of seven and eight here. Do you want to know how? Seven blocks down here. Alright. Uh, so, uh, rather on this side, sorry, seven blocks up here, so that puts sevens in those squares. So seven blocking across here, seven in one of these two squares. That can't be seven blocking down here. So the sevens are there, and we already know that the eights block in a similar way. So that's a pair of seven and eight. 
So what's left in these two squares are not 7 or 8, they must be 5 and 6, and I can't say which is which, unfortunately. How about over here, 5, 6 and 9? So we get 9s in these squares, does that do anything? Uh, no, not yet. <clears throat> not really, not yet. Okay, so we've still got work to be done. Let's not fall asleep on the job. Um, Still only have three as a completed digit. Uh, okay, so this was 4 and 5, if you remember. So we got 5 blocking down here, and we've got 6 blocking up there. So that means that's 5 and 6. And this is 7. Aha. As Alan Partridge says. Still struggling. Oh no, here we go. Seven down here and across here. So seven in one of those two squares blocking up. Seven across there. There we go. There's our seven. And I said earlier this was seven or eight in these two squares. So that's going to be our eight. Now eight down here, eight down there. There goes our eight. Now I may no. No. Uh, this is where my memory is failing. I've, I've probably got the. Uh, I've probably worked out enough to finish the game now, but I've forgotten half of what I said before. 
Such is life. I've spotted something, but I don't know if it's going to work out to be anything. But I'll tell you what I've seen. Probably nothing. But anyway, we have four and five in these squares here. So this square, four and six block this square here. Four and six block this square here. So it means that this square and this square have to be four and six. And that leaves here and here as one and two. Now I've got one and two here. So it also means that this can't be one or two shall we look through our unique rectangle ideas so it's not one two it's not three four five six seven or nine it's eight okay it's got to be eight so saved by a unique rectangle there eight blocking up here there's an eight there's a one i know because i had one two and eight from the beginning i actually didn't forget for once in a blue moon now this is f four and five so this has to not be four or five it's a two. Two across there. There's our two. There's our one. And hopefully that's going to be sufficient. One and seven block across here. That's one and seven. This then is four. Four blocks across here. And four blocking up here puts four into one of those squares blocking down. Four across there. There's our four. Uh, what is this? One and seven. We got the one blocking down here, so there's the one. There's our seven. Seven over here. It's looking good, isn't it, fellow Sadokans? It's looking good, I think. Six goes here. Six blocking up here. There's our six. Six across there. There's our six. Missing number here is a five. Last number to get in the middle here is a 9. Uh, two, three, and eight are done. One block's down here. There's a one. If I start to look in a different part of the grid rather than where my eyes are focused. Uh, okay, we're doing fine. What's left to get in these two squares up here? We are still looking for five, and we are still looking for nine. Oh, I've just seen something. Nine blocks across there. There's the nine. We also need a five there. Okay. Five across this way, five up there, there's our five. Seven blocks up here, there's our seven. And the missing digit here is six. Now I was going to work out what, oh, I don't, I shouldn't do that because I've got one simple number to find up here instead. That's a five. Okay, now our five across here and five up there. So there's our five. I think it was nine I was needing up there, wasn't it? There we go. Nine across here, across there. Nine, get in there. Uh, five blocking across this way. Here's our five. There's our four. Four across there. There's our four. Four that way. There's our four. Here we need a six to fill our void. Six blocking up here. There's a six. And we finish with seven. Thank you, The Guardian, for giving us a just about the right challenge for somebody that's still rather tired uh, on a Saturday morning. Uh, but looking forward to, uh, oh, actually work. I've got to work again. <laughs> I've forgotten. Oh, God. Anyway, some relaxation and some uh, enjoyment over the weekend. I hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye.